Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a tutorial on this eye makeup look. Um, I pretty much do my whole entire face, but I'm going to speed through after I pretty much do the eye makeup look. Um, I'm just calling this daytime glam because this can be worn during the daytime because it's so easy and we're only using two eye shadows. Of course, loading up on mascara and we're also putting a bit of black liner in our waterline, which that step's totally optional because I know it's summertime so you think very bright, glowy, fresh looking gorgeous skin as well as an eye makeup look that's very simple as well because if you live in a hot climate you're not trying to wear all this makeup on your face it's just too much nobody has time for that if you guys enjoy don't forget to subscribe because y'all love me and we're just gonna get started all right y'all so to get started i'm taking my nyx eyeshadow base just so we can prime our eyelids anything like concealer or any eyeshadow primer will do this is going to ensure the shadows last all day long and it's going to be nice and tacky. Now I'm taking this Clinique quad set I've had for a while and I'm taking that blush. It's actually a blush but it's called um, Dusty Rose and that's the only color we're going to use really on the lids. And I'm sweeping that back and forth in my crease. Um, I just love this color. I've talked about it before in a previous video and I just think this looks pretty on all skin tones, especially for the spring and summertime of the year. Um, this is also a great transition color. Now I'm taking my Carly Bible palette from BH Cosmetics and I'm going to spray my brush with some NYX matte finishing spray so that we get the best color payoff and I'm taking that rose gold shimmer color there in the palette. And that is going to be the inner corner highlight of this look. It's super easy. Anybody can do this look. Absolutely love this so much, especially for an on-the-go look. Now, I'm going to take my Tarte Inner Rim Liner in black, of course. And this is going in the waterline. This is like my absolute favorite high-end waterline um, eyeliner because it's so creamy, so intense. And look how pigmented that is. It lasts all day long. Now to prime our eyelashes, I'm taking my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Lash Primer and I'm going to apply this generously and let it set before we finish off with mascara. Now moving on to the face, I'm going to prime our face of course with my Catrice Pi Prime and Fine Pore Refining Mattifying Primer. You guys know I love this. I've been using this for months. And I'm just going to be applying that and then we are going in as you can see here and I'm actually using a new technique it's called patting it um, just so it gets really tacky on the face and then I'm gonna finish off my lashes with the Maybelline Rocket Volume Mascara applying this generously this is like one of my absolute favorite drugstore mascaras um, so yeah and then I'm fixing up my eyelid there with a q-tip and then we're gonna go in and complete our face with foundation this of course is my holy grail naked skin foundation from urban decay this is my absolute favorite it looks like i applied a little bit much on the forehead but it all blends so beautifully into your skin it's super lightweight that's why i absolutely love this stuff and yeah you can build the coverage up to as much as you want or as much as you need um, and then i'm also using a flat top kabuki brush to blend that out now i'm going to apply a little concealer i'm using my favorite of course my nyx hd concealer and i'm just using a little bit i haven't really been wearing concealer lately but for the sake of the video i figured why not and i'm blending that out with my concealer brush from elf cosmetics um and then eventually i'm going to go in and set this but as you can see i'm taking my time to blend everything seamlessly um and you know concealer is always optional but I'm setting it with my NYX um, set it don't fret it mattifying mineral powder and of course this is going to prevent creasing make sure this helps the concealer look nice all throughout the day and I'm just blending this out with my um, small precision brush from elf cosmetics as well they have some of the best brushes y'all like seriously now my favorite I'm doing something different. I decided to contour, um, which is another optional step because it's hot. You don't want all that product on your face, but this is the City Color Cosmetics Contour Kit. And I'm taking that dark contour shade, which I can't even believe I switched up my contour products, but I actually really love this and it's very affordable. Um, 
So after I do that, I'm setting everything with my Urban Decay um, D Slick Makeup Setting Spray. And that completes the look pretty much. And I actually switched it up on y'all and applied this lipstick I got from H&M. Actually from my best friend. Um, it's in the shade called Redwood. And then I'm just applying a little bit of gloss to give us some shine. And that pretty much completes the look, guys. I hope you all enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe. And I love you guys.